let's talk a little bit about myself. Um, my name is Jeremy, Jeremy Morrow, and um, let's see. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, um, my, when I was very young, um, very, very young, uh, this talking about early 80s here they would take me to places like Frankenmuth and there'd be a Frankenmuth arcade video arcade and I remember uh, and other arcades in the states as well as well as Toronto and Canada uh, they would take me to places like the video arcade and for the first time I, I had the chance to play games like Pac-Man Space Invaders um, Qbert remember those games and um, really awesome because um, those games, uh, there's something very charming and cartoon-like about those classic uh, arcade games. I also played Ghosts and Goblins. I remember that when that came out. And uh, I had a lot of fun with those games. They, they captured my imagination. I remember the, being in that, the, that room full of colorful lights and blips and bloops and electronics uh, filled me with a lot of excitement. Yeah, yeah, a lot of excitement. Uh, the kind of a thrill. Uh, there's something very childlike fun about those old arcade games. So, um, and I remember when later on in my life, uh, I didn't have a video system, a video game system at, at the time. But later on, um, as I got into computing, I got interested in the Commodore 64 and the gaming games on those. And uh, in, high, in 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 elementary school, and my mom, my dad bought me my first Coleco Vision. I remember that. That was a lot of fun. You know, if you want a YouTube video to skyrocket to success, bring a cat. Cats are big money makers. It's my cat, Buddy. He's a black and white uh, tabby, I believe, or one of, one of those kind. I think there's a special name for them. But uh, anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, ColecoVision. So I was like, um, my dad played the ColecoVision for the first time even before I did. <laughs> I remember he was playing um, Space Fury was the game, I believe with the big green alien head with a cyclopean eye and uh, you would have these spaceships right these spaceships would uh, you would have uh, a hero you would play the the spaceship hero uh you had your job was to fight all these alien ufos and this green alien monster uh captain or general of this fleet he would challenge you he would challenge you to a battle against all his fleets and you would uh move your ship around and uh, shoot the other uh, fleet, fleet uh, spaceships, and uh, you could also dock into a mothership and get extra extra power, extra shooting power, and uh, you would you would move your ship across the screen and you would come out come out the other end. It was like a a, a constant loop, like you were trapped in some kind of time warp. But it was awesome because it was a lot of fun. It was like a bit of like a a sci-fi space. Uh, gladiatorial battle it wasn't really a, 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 a space adventure but a, a gladiatorial space battle and it was a lot of fun because I really enjoy um, <clears throat> I enjoyed that game I enjoyed watching my dad play with that uh, green alien cyclopean uh, captain and he would uh, give you an evaluation so if you did very poorly he would say you were a pathetic opponent or you player one you were a adequate opponent but if you were uh, a really good fighter and you battled all those spaceships the spaceship fleet would say player one you were an outstanding opponent so the space captain would always give you some commendation for your fighting ability I, I, I had a lot of fun with that, that game I had Tarzan um, Cabbage Patch Kids of all fame Mom, Donkey Kong uh, Qbert uh, real beloved uh, arcade classic so I, a lot of collection I have actually I sold those games with me uh, I haven't been able to play them lately because they are a very old analog style game but I, I, I will intend I intend to play them at least in an emulator form on this YouTube channel because that's what I'm doing is I, I have a YouTube channel you may know me from Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater Video Gamers Oasis uh, Play Theater is a gaming channel so I've been taking a bit of an online course um, in video, professional video um, for business, and taking a course online. Um, YouTube Insiders is the tape, the webinar, I believe. So I'm learning some new skills. I'm, I, and what the teacher told me to perhaps 
centralize your YouTube channel. Make it one YouTube channel. Don't go into many different channels. Now that's debatable. I'm not sure if that's such a good idea or not. I'm still debating. What do you think? You think it's a good idea to have a centralized YouTube channel or to have multiple channels for multiple themes? Um, so anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that, my, my YouTube channel. Um, so I got into Nintendo, obviously NES, Mar Super Mario Brothers was a big hit for me, as well as some other classic games like Logi Man and uh, Super Mario Brothers 2, um, <clears throat> uh, Legend of Zelda, of course, that's a cl that's a uh, instant role-playing role classic. So um, I also got into PC games as well, Spider-Man being one of them. I'm also getting into a lot of classic point-and-click adventure games. But I actually have a big collection of games. I'll have to show you sometime another time. I, I need to know if this video is working. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Bye.